17 years ago. Little kid in the fifth grade. Every day during recess me and my friend, we'll call him Kevin, would hang out during recess. Our favorite spot was a radiator, which was positioned in a far corner of the playground next to a wired fence that separated the school from a trailer park on the other side. We spent the majority of our recesses here, however by the time we both reached third grade there was a rather large drug bust at the trailer park, causing a lot of the residents to move leaving it mostly vacant. One trailer remains, looks rusty. Over time more and more vacancy notices are posted by the city on the door but nobody ever receives them. Guess everyone just stopped giving a shit about it after a while. One day me and my friend are eating lunch outside during recess, we're both facing the fence and the abandoned trailer park. Out of fucking nowhere we see a white flash from beyond the fence, almost didn't notice it with the sun being out, but it was still noticeable. At first we think nothing of it, and don't tell anyone about it. However, over the next few weeks it started happening more and more frequently, until we would see it pretty much every day during recess. Decide to tell one of the staff helpers about it and she immediately calls the police. Didn't hear anything else about it after that. Walking home with my friend from a birthday party months down the line. We split off as we both lived on different streets, say goodbye and tell him to log on to RuneScape when he gets home, yet it was when RuneScape was pretty new sue me. Sitting on my computer mindlessly hours later, notice he never got on. Didn't show up to school the next day either, odd. Days pass, still haven't seen him. Word starts to spread that he's sick. Ask my parents if I can go visit him since he's sick one day, they both exchange worried glances. Later my dad tells me that he's visiting his grandparents in Chicago. Sitting at lunch alone on top of the radiator again, it's been literally months since I've last seen Kevin, getting pretty lonely. See that fucking flash again from beyond the fence and get mad. Run up to the staff helper and tell her that the trailer is flashing at me again. She tries to tell me that she already took care of it and it's just my imagination. Fuck that shit. Tell my parents about it that night, one of my dad's friends worked in the local police department. Very next day recess has to be held in the inside gym. Teachers won't tell us why. Next day the trailer is gone and the area surrounding it is surrounded with yellow tape, the fence is later redone and is boarded up instead of being chain linked. Somehow get the feeling I'll never see my friend again at this point. Years pass and I forget about it, until recently when I went back home to visit my parents and we drove past my old elementary school. Trailer park is gone and a daycare sits there instead. While driving, ask my mom what really happened to Kevin. Apparently my dad's police department friend and his co-worker investigated that trailer park again, and inside of the trailer that found a stash of pictures, about 20 in total, of me and my friend sitting on that fucking radiator during recess, a couple of me sitting by myself after Kevin had gone missing. It really bugged me that they had lied to me all these years, but his body was never found so I guess there's that. Whenever I think about how close I came to being in his shoes I shudder. I don't think I'll ever know if he's dead or alive or if they found who did it. By far my most disturbing childhood experience.